In this video, we'll look at number of publications among top 10% most cited and percentage of publications among the top 10% most cited. If we look at the methodology, we'll see that the number of publications that are among the top 10% most cited is worth 12.5%, and the percentage of total publications is worth 10%. So let's see how we can look at these in Insights. We have our same starter analysis with our years from 2019 to 2023, organization type academic, and we've removed ESCI documents. I've also gone ahead and refined this to articles and reviews document type. So this section barely warrants a video uh, because these metrics are just two indicators that you can add. So you can do this via the indicator section here, or you can do it over here with the add indicator. Uh, I like to add indicators over here if I'm doing multiple at once. I can just type 10%. These two show up here, documents in temp top 10% and percentage documents in top 10%, and I'll just hit apply. Here are your numbers, and of course you can download the data if you wish here. One other thing I wanted to point out here is that within Insights, you can also filter by top X percent. It doesn't have to be a round number like 10 or 50%. Down here at the bottom, top percent documents, you could choose to do 10% and we get the same number of results over here, but you can filter by say top 25% or top 40%. So the next time you get a strange request from the research office to identify the papers from your organization that are in the top 17%, you can actually do this in Insights. For the purposes of the rankings, I do not suggest using this filter here because you will want to see the whole output of your organization when you're looking at this percentage documents in top 10% here. But I did want to point out this functionality because I think it's pretty cool and not usually seen.